Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Orchid MTG back here and uh so I had a little bit of a little little problem just now. Um I recorded a good half of the video. I opened up one envelope. Luckily it was only one card before I realized um that it was not everything went horizontal, so it was still filming vertically even though the the phone was horizontal. Um, I film everything on my phone, so uh, it's a problem. But I, I'll just go over that card. Um, it was uh, it was in really good condition, um, and we'll do a couple other things. Uh, I'm, now I'm all over the place. I'm throwing things around. Uh, so before we get into that, I just want to say that um, there's not going to be a lot of opening videos coming up. I bought a couple things off ABU Games, but then I kind of had second thoughts. Uh, like, I won a couple auctions, but then I had second thoughts about it. So I um, I messaged them, and they were very nice to cancel my order. Uh, extremely nice, actually. There was no questions asked, no negative feedback. It was really nice of them to just cancel my order. So, um, so yeah, that, that, that was really nice. But um, anyway... What I'm trying to say is I don't have anything to open uh, in the future, but I do have things coming in the mail. So, so uh, you know, look out for, for some of that stuff, and uh, we'll, we'll do more mail day videos. Anyway, this is the first card I bought. Um, it's Spring of Eternal Peace. Centering's a little off, but the card is really nice. There's maybe one little thing on the surface. Um, it's hard to see through these uh card savers i i i had it out before but right now it's going to stay in the card saver but um yeah another card to add to the portal three kingdoms collection we're getting uh, maybe about halfway there maybe somewhere like that um but here's the big one for portal three kingdoms kong ming's contraptions i bought this card for nine dollars um and i had ebay bucks so I had like two dollars in eBay bucks, so maybe it maybe it was like nine dollars total after tax and everything. Um this is like a forty dollar card. So and it came like really, really nice. Maybe there's like there's a little corner thing here. But this should still be a strong nine. Um you know, nothing more to say. I got a great deal on this. Um and then I want to show off before we leave Portal Three Kingdoms. I just want to show off how much Portal 3 Kingdoms I have. And maybe we'll do, um, maybe we'll get into that at some point. This is how many cards I have. All of these. All of these. All Portal 3 Kingdoms. Now the lands, the lands end about here. But I have like, I doubled up on a couple lands. Like these two are the same. And I might, my table has some uh, stuff on it, so I'm kind of having to squeeze in. But, um, yeah, tons of Portal 3 Kingdoms. I should have more coming. Uh, I haven't bought anything yet, but I'm, I'm planning on buying some some more Portal. Anyway, uh, we're going to open this from Char. Char sent me another package. I'm going to open it off camera, but we'll show everything. Me and Char, we send things back and forth. I have a, I have a bunch of things I'm going to send to him. Uh, I have them right here, actually. So he wants Tale of Trees, and then Court of Calling, and something else. Oh, no. Court of Calling and Field of the Dead. So, and then, um, I have another thing that's coming, and, and also a Faithless Looting for him. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's all of that. So I'm opening up his package now. And he taped it to the envelope. I feel like I've I feel like I've taught him better than that, but he did it anyway for some reason. I feel like I've definitely taught him better. But looks like there's a couple things in here. So, oh my gosh, hold on, because he packed them in here. Sorry. 
So, first we have an original Opt. And then we have a Gear Freed the Iron Knight. That's pretty cool. Fair Servant. And then we have a Return to Radnica Foil Island. That's not, that's not bad. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Char. And I think he's got some more shit to send me um, in the future. So, um, that'll be nice. And now, this is the big one. So, I was, I was going to bid on this auction for this card. It was a 9 quad plus. So, if you don't know anything about BGS, when you get a card graded, um, obviously they have the number grades, but then they have the subgrades. And uh, when it gets a 9, it could also be graded... Um, as a quad, a basic. So it had three nines and a 9.5, right? Which makes it a quad plus. And I was looking at it, I was comparing it to other things online, and I was like, this shouldn't go more than like $30, $35. Oh no, maybe maybe a little less than 35 maybe like 33 That's where I was going to bid. Maybe about 32 33 was where I was going to bid. Especially because it had, it had $6 shipping. So... So I'm watching it. It goes up. It goes up to about thirty-three, and I'm like, "All right, this is where I'm kind of out. Um, I'm not really gonna spend more than that." So, um, it's fine. I'll just watch the last couple seconds of it and see what happens. It goes to forty-one dollars with six dollars shipping, and I'm like, "I'm like, that's very expensive." So, and I wouldn't pay that. So, I went. I went looking, and right on eBay. Right on eBay, there's a better one, a Quad Plus Plus, for 39 with free shipping. So I was like, if someone's going to spend $40, or 47 if I can open this fucking thing. Hello, can I open? Well, it looks like I need my X-Acto knife again. Probably got to change the blade on the X-Acto knife at some point, but it looks like we got it. So this is from uh, Magic Graders, um, who I think is owned by Kyle Montgomery, who's in the, um, he's in all the graded groups, and he's in the graded uh, Discord and all that. So I see him around um, online quite a bit. See, thanks, from Kyle, Magic Raiders, and we got an Arabian Nights Desert Nomads Quad Plus Plus. And I just thought if someone else was gonna buy a f buy this card, but even worse, where there's only there, where there's one less nine point five, um, I might as well just buy the other one, because sometimes I get a little worried, and I'm just like, if this card spikes and I don't buy it. I'm going to feel bad about it. So I had the money. I just said, fuck it. Let's buy it. Um, and now I have it. So pretty excited about that. It's pretty nice. Um, it's another card for my Arabian Nights set. Um, and hopefully not to, in the too distant future, I have more Arabian Nights cards coming. Um, well, I know they're coming, but hopefully it's not in the too distant future because... Um, there's quite a bit of them, and they're coming from overseas, so there's a chance it could could be a while. And I'm still looking at this Addison Restored intro pack. It has a booster pack in it. Um, I'm still not sure if I want to open it, but because it's in French, and most of the time when I just find a when I find foreign cards they, what am I trying to say? They just end up in the bulk pile, so. I've even opened, like, Japanese War of the Spark. It ended up in my bulk like, to be sold. So, I'm, I'm on the fence about that. But there are some cool Avacyn Restored cards to open. We'll see. If you guys really want to see it, I only spent, like, 3 or $4 on it. Just let me know. I mean, I can open it. You know, maybe I can open it and send everything to one person. Um, if there's enough people that are interested. So, anyway, I want to thank y'all for watching. Um, now my video looks suspicious because we hit 10 minutes. Um, but, uh, it is what it is.
Uh, I want to thank y'all for watching. Uh, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.